Well, you may have seen him on your favorite e-reality show, but this doctor doesn't just keep up with the Kardashians. He also keeps them looking flawless. Dermatologist to the stars, Dr. Michael Lynn works his magic by using a secret blend of natural ingredients that actually help reduce the risk of cancer, along with giving you clear skin. He joins us today to let us in on a few of his health and beauty tips. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Lynn. Welcome to Buffalo. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> uh, we're excited to have you here, especially during our Winging It Goes Pink Week, because we're talking about all of these the ways we can prevent cancer in our bodies. And one of the things in the field of dermatology are parabens that could possibly be cancer causing. So tell us what these are for our viewers at home. Yeah, well, parabens are preservatives that are found in probably 90% of skincare products available on the market. But um, the problem with parabens and the concern is they're hormone imitators. So they imitate the hormone estrogen. And it may be causing problems like premature puberty and breast cancer. And a lot of, and like you said, these are available on over the counter, or not available, but they're found in over the counter uh, skin products. products. Yeah, just everyday products. So, for example, these products over here, like the Dr. Lin skincare uh, products, are paraben free. Mm -hmm. And they're available at Wegmans, your local Wegmans, or CVS. All right, cool. And then um, we have these products here, uh, and these have parabens. So you can see many of the famous brands have parabens and many do not so that would be something to look into and really look at the ingredients what else would you recommend because I mean like we're seeing here we're so we're seeing so many brands that we recognize like Aveeno this acne free Neutrogena what are you, what would you recommend people who want that clear glowing skin what mm -hmm. kind of products do you like to recommend to your patients well if you're talking about um, skin that's going to be wrinkle free mm -hmm. uh, we would be talking about a hyaluronic acid product so those kind of products are extremely good at plumping up wrinkles. Okay. And in fact, that's one of the latest trends right now, where you would uh, inject um, hyaluronic acid under the skin to plump up wrinkles. But now you can do it topically with Dr. Lin Skincare. And, and what other kind of topical treatments would you recommend for you know trouble areas? Um, well, I would recommend like acne spot treatments. Okay. And we have a natural cure for that actually. So. We always want to go natural because, you know, with breast cancer awareness, mm -hmm. natural is better. Okay. So we would do something like honey or egg whites. And just a little dab of that, which you might find in your kitchen. So you put honey right on your face? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, right on the pimple. It just dries it up. Yeah. What other kind of, like, myths about um, acne prevention work? Does toothpaste really work? You hear people recommend that sometimes. Toothpaste does dry it up. Um, another thing is hydrocortisone cream. I don't know okay. if you tried that. A little steroid will dry up pimples. And then, um, this sounds kind of funny, but preparation H. That okay. has an ingredient really? that dries up <laughs> the redness pretty fast. <laughs> uh, anything else you could offer people? Any other trends in the skincare industry that people should maybe be aware of? Well, there's another um, concern we have is oxybenzone. So there's, um, there's a product here which is, which is this um, Neutrogena product mm -hmm. versus this one here which is titanium. Okay. Yeah. Now this one has the oxybenzone and this one doesn't. So the oxybenzones though, uh, they're also hormone imitators. So we have to be careful about, about those. They could increase the risk of breast cancer too, but we don't know. It's all um, you know, kind of up in the air, but okay. I'd rather, the bottom line is I'd rather avoid them if possible, mm -hmm. especially if they are convenient and affordable <laughs> options. And can we ask if the Kardashians use your line of skincare? <laughs> I, I believe they do. We know we've seen you on the show, so all right. Thanks, Dr. Lynn, for being here. Dermatologist to the stars, nice to have you here in Buffalo. Thanks again. Right now.